Paso, I'm Ricky Saias. Well, if you've been to the airport lately, you may have noticed some changes. One of the gateways to our community is getting a makeover. Construction is ongoing at the airport. With crews adding new landscaping, lighting improvements, and a walkway between the terminal and surrounding hotels, the multi-million dollar enhancements will improve air service travel in and out of El Paso. It's a $9 million project. It's being paid for out of the airport and It's not being paid for at all with taxpayer money. Be patient with us. I mean, we're getting towards the tail end of it. When it's all is said and done, it's going to be a much bigger improvement um, to our airport. In the last four years, the airport has upgraded the baggage claim area, opened a new rental car facility, added a relief area for pets, and new carpet in addition to adding 15 new flights. Airport experts from around the world called El Paso home for a few days during the annual Smart Airports and Regions Conference. Put together by the International Airport and Destination El Paso, a ribbon-cutting launched a three-day event that included panel discussions, an airport tour, and exhibition booths. The conference not only served as a way to exchange aviation ideas, it also highlighted the success of the airport. What it does is it exposes individuals to El Paso who have never been here before. And it's an economic development boost because you have individuals coming in, staying at our hotels. You have individuals coming in and eating at our restaurants. This was the first year the city of El Paso hosted the Smarts Airports and Regions Conference. Airport travelers can now view a variety of art pieces and artifacts that represent the Sun City. A ribbon cutting kicked off the opening of the Sun City Arts and Cultural Exhibit. It showcases the city's three museums, history, art, and archaeology. We encourage our visitors who are coming in from out of town, as well as our local visitors, to spend a few minutes in the exhibition, learning more about uh, not only what's happening at our various museums, but also to have a look at some of our murals that are installed throughout the city, and also um, public art. The free exhibit is open to everyone, whether they're traveling or not. An increase in blistering triple-digit heat this year has made for a sizzling summer in El Paso. The Extreme Weather Task Force is urging residents to request a fan if they need one to keep cool. The task force is made up of various organizations, including the Public Health Department and Fire Department. Each year, fans are provided to senior citizens and the disabled free of charge. We are educating them on how to protect themselves. However, not everybody is getting that message, and we want to bring out that message to let them know there is a service for them and how to protect themselves and how to keep themselves cool during the summer. The task force also provides blankets during the winter. If you would like to donate a fan or if you need a fan for your home, call the Extreme Weather Task Force at 211. A must-have if you're a pet owner. A new pet finder map is out that helps owners find their pet if it gets lost. Animal Services shows us how it works. Hi everyone! In an effort to keep as many pets out of the shelter and in their homes, Animal Services and the city's IT department has come up with a cool new map that will show you just where pets went missing and where pets were found. The Pet Finder map can be found on the Animal Services website and on the EP311 app on your phone. So let's take a look at how you can use this map. So you just lost a pet, right? And you want to check if it's at the shelter? Go to the Pet Finder map by hovering over the Find My Pet tab on our website and click on the Pet Finder map. This will take you to the map where you'll see four main tabs. For a found pet, you'll click on either Dog Found Report or Cat Found Report. When looking for a pet, you can either scroll through the list of pictures or you can even zoom into your neighborhood to see which pets were found in that immediate area. This makes your search so much easier and gives you a good starting point in finding your pet. Now what happens if you don't find your pet on the map? While the Pet Finder map is just another great tool in helping reunite lost pets with their family, it's always strongly suggested to check our Find My Pet listing on our website and come to the shelter in person daily to see if your pet has been found and brought into our care. So if you did all this and you're still looking for your pet, this map can still help you. The cool thing is, is that you can call 311 to file a lost pet report. Make sure you have your pet's microchip or rabies tag number handy as this is the only way 311 dispatchers can file a report. Your report will then be added to the Pet Finder map under the Dog Lost or Cat Lost Report section. This is helpful because if someone in your neighborhood finds your pet, they can use this section to help reconnect your pet back to you. This map is dual functioning, easy to use, and we hope it leads to many more families reunited. Thank you, Michelle, for that info. The Pet Finder map can be found on the Animal Services website or on the 311 app. Three dozen new firefighters are now responding to emergency calls. They finished an intense training regimen at the Fire Academy. During a graduation ceremony, Firefighter Class 96 took an oath and had family members pin their badges to their uniform, making them official firefighters. 
The fire department wrapped up their annual summer youth camp. More than 50 teenagers spent three days learning what it's like to be a firefighter. They learned fire safety, fire aid, and basic firefighting skills. They even challenged recent graduates of Firefighter Class 96 to a tug of war, which they won. The Fire Summer Youth Camp is held every summer. If you missed it this year, keep it in mind for next year. We're out of time on this edition of Your City in 5, but stay up to date with city happenings by visiting epconnect.today. We're also on social media, and of course, you can always catch us on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.